Hi guys! Good day everyone! This is Teacher Mylene P. Acebes and welcome to our science class. And for today's lesson, we are going to know what is mixture and what are the two types of mixture. But before that, let me ask you about your favorite foods. Are you fond of eating adobo? How about penakpet or chapsui? How about your favorite desserts? Do you like eating fruit salad or binignit or gelatin? Do you know that these mentioned dishes and desserts are mouth-watering examples of mixture? Now, do you know what is mixture? And to understand what is mixture, we were going to have an activity. It is called Ready, Set, Mix. The materials needed for this activity are first we need water next oil glasses egg yolk already separated from the egg white is what we call mixture a mixture of water and sugar 
and a mixture of egg yolk, oil, and water. Because mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Did you get that? Very good! Class, have you enjoyed our first activity? Yes? Very good! Again, what is mixture? Yes, a mixture is a combination of two or more substances. But to better understand what is mixture, we will have another set of activity. This is what we call when solids combines with liquid. Are you excited? Are you ready? Yay! So, these are the materials needed for our second activity. First, we need three glasses. Okay, one, two, three. Next, we need water. Okay, then one spoonful of salt. Can you see it? Next, one spoonful of rocks. And one spoonful of sand. And lastly, we need spoons. Okay, first, we need to put, fill this glass with halfway of water. Okay. Then, the first glass, we will add the salt. And stir. After stirring, we need to wait 5 minutes and observe what happened to the salt and water. For the next glass, we will add now the rocks. Okay, then steer. And for the third glass, we will add now the sand. And steer. So now, these are the three glasses of water mixed with different substances. So after stirring, we need to wait five minutes and observe what happened to the glasses. A few moments later. Can you take a look at the salt? Can you still distinguish the salt from water? No? Very good! Because salt was completely dissolved with the water. From the solid salt, it now becomes liquid. Very good! And for the second mixture, the water and the rocks. Is there any changes? No? Can I take a look? Yes, because rocks can't be dissolved with water. So rocks still solid. Very good. Okay, and for the third mixture, this is the water and the sand. Very good. So can you take a look what happened to the sand and water in mix? Can you see that? Yes, the water changes its color. Very good. So what happened to the sand? Yes, the sand just settled down at the bottom of the glass. Very good observation, class. Okay, class, again, what is mixture? Yes, 
A mixture is a combination of two or more substances. And mixture has two different kinds. First, we have homogeneous mixture. And the second is heterogeneous mixture. We can now proceed to our discussion. Do you know what is homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture? What is their difference? Homogeneous mixtures refer to the composition of substances that are the same throughout. For example, these mixtures are uniformly the same in the physical eye. In a closer inspection, homogeneous mixtures are the same throughout because the substances that compose them is at a molecular level. Sometimes, Homogeneous mixture is also called solution. Yes, solution. You know what is solution? Solution is a homogeneous mixture where one substance is dissolved in another substance. So what are the examples of homogeneous mixture? First, we have for liquid. Water and sugar. See? Salt and water. And also corn oil and blood plasma. And surprisingly, homogeneous mixture is not only limited to liquid. Because it also appears on gases and solids. For example, air can be speculated as homogeneous gas mixture, while homogeneous solid mixture include or includes alloys such as steel, brass, bronze, and other mixtures such as mineral ores. Now let's proceed to the second kind of mixture. Yes, that is heterogeneous mixture. You know what is heterogeneous mixture? Heterogeneous mixture is completely opposite with homogeneous mixture. It's two or more substances that are distinct from one another. For example, the physical eye can pick up the substances that make up in this type of mixture because it is large enough to be seen. There are two types of heterogeneous mixture which are suspension and colloid. A suspension is usually created when stirring together two or more ingredients. But most mixtures are suspension mixtures. Like homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture also includes solids, liquids, and gases. For solid, we have sand, gravel, and soil. And of course, vegetable salad. While for liquid, we have oil and water. Heterogeneous mixture also exists in gases. For example, air pollution, where smoke and dust particles mix within the atmosphere. This is a suspension mixture. After a while, these dust particles will settle on the ground. Now, let's feed again your mind. What is mixture? Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. And it has two kinds. First, we have homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture refers to the substances that are the same all throughout. It is also called solution. 
and heterogeneous mixtures has two or more particles that are distinct from one another. It is further classified as suspension and colloid. Please post the video for assessment. Now let us check your comprehension. Classify whether a given mixture is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned something from me. And good luck to our next session. This is again teacher Mylene Pia Sebes and saying, see you on the next time.